Welcome to Tech Gyan. Introduction to Computers. Myself, Professor Jesse Julian from Department of Computer Science, Trinity College, Jalandhar. Today, we are going to learn the third lesson, Input Output Devices. In this lesson, we are going to cover introduction to computer, various input devices, various output devices. So that we are already learned, computer receive input, then it process, then send the output. Computer can store permanently and temporarily data in its memory and the storage devices. What are available for input and output? Input can be your touch, your sound, your gesture, your gaze, brain waves, anything. Similarly, output can be textual information, visual images like photos, diagrams, icons, moving images, sounds, music, voice, anything. How we can get output or we can give input to the computer? It is possible with the help of devices. So, the components or peripherals which are attached to the computer to enter the data and get desired result is called device. Example, mouse, keyboard, printer, speaker and all these are devices. First, we will discuss about input devices. It is used by a person to communicate to a computer. Input device is an electron chemical device that can be used to enter data and instructions to the computer. These are some input devices. The very common input device which we are using is the keyboard. On through this, we enter data manually by typing the keys. A typical keyboard has 101 or 105 keys. And the keyboard contains different keys like functional keys, numerical keys, numerical keypads, alphabetical keys and all these keys which we are using to send words, numbers, punctuation, symbols and functions into the computer's memory. Other than this, many pointing devices also used to input data to the computer like mouse, joystick, touchpad, light pen, etc. Very common pointing device is mouse. It is the device is used to control the movement of a mouse pointer on the screen to make the selection from the screen. A mouse has one to five buttons. The button of the mouse is flat and contain a mechanism that detects movement of the mouse. Typically, Two kinds of mouse we use. One is wheel mouse and other is cordless mouse. Wheel mouse contains a rotating wheel used to scroll vertically within a text document and it connects to the computer using a USB port or a PS2 port. We have cordless mouse also which uses infrared signals to connect to the computer's port. Mouse buttons enable the user to initiate some actions like we click, we click and drag. We can click left, right buttons and we can double click also. Another pointing device is touch screen. These are very common these days, especially you all are using your, your mobile phones. They have a touch screen. 
that screen often used for applications with occasional use like bank ATMs, other information devices. It needs no extra hardware. It can be pressed to one pixel. And these are used for carrying and good to carry when we are in traveling. But we should careful that if we touch wrongly in a wrong angle, will not get a desired result. We should not keep our finger greasy or jammy. That will obscure your screen. Some other indirect pointing devices are trackball, trackpad, track points. These are very important because they take less space on desktop. And these also very good for moving environment like car or train. Another indirect pointing device is joystick. The main use of joystick is to play computer games by scrolling the way that something moves on the screen. Next input device is microphone. This is a device that recognizes the speech. We use a microphone to talk to your computer and our sound add to the sound card. Then the sound card convert into a digitized audio input like zeros and ones. A speech recognition program can process the input and convert it into machine recognized commands or input. Speech recognition is a type of input in which the computer recognizes words spoken into a microphone. Special mic software and a microphone are required. Latest technology uses continuous speech recognition where the user does not have a pause between words. Here is a typical example of the speech recognition. Suppose I want to speak up. My sound is in the waveform entered to the microphone. From that, the speech Speech recognition board detect my speech and convert this into a binary code. That means a computer understanding language. Then it sent to the CPU that displays on my monitor. Next input device is digital camera. A digital camera can store many more pictures than any ordinary camera. Pictures taken using a digital camera are stored inside its memory and can be transferred to a computer by connecting the camera to it. A digital camera takes pictures by converting the light passing through the lens at the front into a digital image. Next input device is scanner. A scanner can be used to input pictures and text into the computers. These are very common because they are able to scan full page of data to the computer. There are two main types of scanners are used. One is handheld and the other is flatbed. Another input device is light pen. A light pen is a small pen shaped band. It is used to choose object or command on the screen either by pressing it against the surface of the screen or by pressing a small switch on its side. A signal is sent to the computer which then works out the light pen's exact location on the screen. The main advantage of light pen is that it does not need a special screen or screen coating. Another common 
input device is barcodes. A barcode is a set of lines of different thickness that represent a number. Barcode readers are used to input data from barcodes. Most products in shop have barcodes on them. Barcode readers work by shining a beam of light on the lines that makes up the barcode and detecting the amount of light that is reflected back. Barcodes we can see when we purchase any product from the supermarket or from any store and the, using that device it helps to detect the price and the product name etc. So this is the main use of barcode.